The benchmark is 24 hours, and the classic American endurance race is the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Today, the quest for Daytona glory begins again. Another host of drivers from 17 countries on five continents have come to face the myriad challenges of this twice-around-the-clock marathon run at sprint race speeds. The clock is back to zero, and 24 hours of relentless effort is about to begin. The 41st annual Rolex 24 at Daytona is next. There's the number 68, shared by Long Beach Grand Prix president and veteran sports car racer Jim McCallion, R.J. Valentine from Massachusetts, longtime Trans Am competitor, and the Hessert family, Tom Jr. and his son, Tom III, who at age 16, you heard that correctly, this year becomes the youngest driver to race the Rolex 24. Not an inexperienced 16, he's been racing since he was six years old, seen most recently in a Mopar powered midget that competition. It's quite incredible, isn't it? It really is. Let's get down to Guy Houser, I believe the youngest driver in the field this weekend. That is correct, Calvin. The 68 car just came in, and Tom Hessert, who hasn't been in the car yet today, but Tom, you are making history here today, if the car restarts, by the way, uh, but the youngest ever driver in the Rolex 24 hour. How's that feel? Oh, it feels awesome, you know, ever since I've been coming here, since I've probably been about a year old, I've been able to talk about it with my dad, and we've been really excited to do this, and just getting the opportunity to do it at the age of 16 has been amazing. So we're both really, really excited about it and having a great time. What were your first impressions when you first drove around here with the size of the Grand Science and just the, the huge banked oval you're used to running on the short midget tracks? Yeah, actually, the first time I came here was uh, for a Skip Barber school in November. And just getting out in such a small car like that in the big track, it's a little bit overwhelming at first, but it's it's awesome to get out there. And, you know, you think about all the people who have been here and driven here, it's, it's a pretty neat feeling. Currently running 15th in class. Right now, RJ Valentine just got out of the car. Jim McCallion got in. Will you get in next? Uh, yes, I get in after Jim. I'll be the fourth driver, and then we'll keep on rotating like that throughout the night and through the day tomorrow. When does Dad get in? Uh, Dad was in first. He qualified the car, so he went out first. And um, so we'll get in after me, actually. So it should be good. All right, well, good luck to you, and enjoy this uh, history-making moment you're having here at Daytona. All right, thank you very much. Can you imagine a high school junior driving the Rolex 24 at Daytona? He breaks the record set a couple of years ago by Clint Field from Ohio, who started when he was 17. Before him, the youngest driver in the field was Gunnar Jeanette at 18. As Calvin Fish mentioned, not the only father-son combination in this race. Tom Hessert from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, is here with his son, Tom III. Senior Hessert was the 1988 IMSA Camel Lights champion, a three-time winner of the Rolex 24 in class, 1988, 89, and 97, with three different manufacturers. As for the newest generation of racing Hesserts, young as Tom, started when he was six years old in karts. Progressed to the micro midgets, and then the three-quarter midgets. Finally, a full-scale USAC midget program last year with Mopar motivation. This year, at age 16, he became the youngest driver ever to start the Rolex 24, breaking the record set by then 17-year-old Clint Field. But as far as the Hessers are concerned, this is about racing together at a world-class level. I'm handing the baton over to my son. Uh, this is a long race. It's a season's worth of racing. And uh, for him, it's one of the things I've always dreamed about or thought about to do is share with my son. And uh, as a race car driver, he is very, very competent. And as a dad, I'm scared to death. So it's pretty good. Ever since I was probably, probably since I was, could talk and started racing, we've always talked about doing this. So it's just, we're both really excited about being here and racing together and in, in such a good car. So 